Welcome to Gorehart. Cast down the brothers of St. Odwigs. Only when they fall to earth will they realize they are not above us. Welcome to St. Odwig's perpetual mission. I would invite you in, but the Order has been too trusting in the past. We try to learn from our mistakes. Although, one never knows what might be a test of faith. You have arrived just when I am in need of aid. So perhaps Mitharu is at work. We at St. Odwigs have worked for years to establish a presence on this hill. It's not been without its challenges. The call of the Feylands does not fall upon deaf ears. And many of our youngest don't have the will to resist. Take Brother Egan, for example. Two nights ago, Egan ventured past the walls to collect firewood and never returned. We must find him before anything happens. Mitharu be praised. His order reigns supreme. Brother Egan was last seen northeast of here, just off the road near the Fey ruins. Please find him. Perhaps then we can welcome you into the fold with open arms. Egan was last seen in the woods outside the walls, just north of the village. Goodbye. Don't believe, Father. Whatever you do, avoid the monks of St. Odwig's Perpetual. They deal in lies and false tenets. Their light of hope will leave you in shadow. What could a mortal vagabond need with Kazmaran the Eternal, messenger of the Fey Folk? Speak! My time may be of the ages, but it is still precious. Wait, Father Dinwell sent you, didn't he? Old fool. His path to power was too plodding, and now he wishes to slow me down, too. I have new friends, Fey friends. They are named Finna and Arbos. 
and they have sworn to share their secrets with me and to gift me with true magic. In exchange, they want an ancient treasure buried in the caverns of Waterhall Down. I'll retrieve it, eventually, as soon as I, um, feel like it. <laughs> Fine, if you want to be so noble, but don't expect any of the treasure. This is my key into a powerful new future, a future full of magic and wonders. Let's go. It is in the caves of Waterhall Down, a refuge for the wild fae. See you later. going to press on, then I'll ask you to stay close. I have no courage to speak of. Honest, ask Father Dinwell. Local legend says that the great fey mage Armin the Clever retreated to these caverns to hide his treasures from mortal hands. Among them, the Selkie Vale. Goodbye now.
good to be outside again. What is this? A little Egan has made a friend? Hm. I have a feeling this is going to be a problem. Obviously. Anyone who has ever glimpsed a Fae would know that. Unlike little Egan here, your head holds more than fantasies. The Feylands are such fertile ground for games. The inhabitants are so oafish, you can fill your pockets with hardly any effort. Are you going to give us what's rightfully ours, or do we need to start a new game? My brother and I are always ready to play. You cannot cheat me, my friend. After months of thieving these woods, I think I know my curses. What's your decision? Perhaps I didn't make myself clear. We came for the veil, and a veil we will have. Come, Arbos, let us negotiate. Let's hope this is goodbye. <coughs> I... I didn't know. How could I? Before I came to Gorehart, I'd never known anyone outside my immediate family. Everything was so new, so magical. You must think me a fool. And Father Dinwell... Come, let's return to the mission. I must ask forgiveness of so many. See you later. I can't wait to get home. I can't wait to get home. Must we return to the mission? I crave adventure, magic, power. Although all of those things are quite frightening. Perhaps it is for the best. This new world is far more dangerous than I expected, and I haven't eaten in days. Bye then. Hello. Great Mitharu. Egan has returned. As for you, you have done as I asked, and we here at St. Odwigs are forever grateful. Consider this meager reward a donation to your cause. It is just one, to be sure. Have you come to protest the mission as well? The news has spread to every village. It's on every tongue. We are so close. St. Odwigs cannot resist much longer. And once it relents, all others will follow in its wake. The tome will be ours. Father Dinwell is denying that women can be ordained as members of the Order of Mitharu, despite scripture to the contrary. I know that they've got the proof in their reliquary, an ancient ordination tome, but they've never let me close enough to get a glance. All are welcome into Matharu's embrace. Ha! The hypocrites! Don't commit any crimes on my account. Of course, if Matharu compels you to see justice done, then I won't stand in your way. The Brothers of St. Odwig's perpetual mission keep the valuable tome in their reliquary, but no one outside the Order is allowed a glimpse.
Oh, I didn't see you come in. I was reading this letter, and... Is there anything I... Can I... I never thought it would happen. They're coming. Even with everything else going on in this village, the Red Legion is coming for me. I was not always the pious man you see before you. No, I was a scoundrel, a raider in the dreaded Red Legion, a gang of the notorious bandit Red the Dead Idward. But plunder could not sustain me. I wanted something more. Several of us faked our deaths and deserted, always knowing that Red might track us down. And now, he has. It's all here in Red's letter. He demands we satisfy the blood right. Two lives for one. He'll let me go, but only if I kill the men who deserted with me. But I cannot. I do what I must. I only hope Ugnar and Itrin will forgive me. Ugnar works in Gorhart village. Itrin haunts the ruins near Haxi, still struggling with his demons. Be on your guard. I fear they will likely come for me as well. When it's finished, take their daggers and bring them to Red Edward. He will demand proof. Take mine to start. Good luck, my friend. May Mitharu bless you. Ugnar works for the inn at Gorhart. Etrin has taken to calling himself the Shade and robs travelers in Haxi. Farewell, my friend. Mitharu, you found the ordination tome. I'd give a sack of gold to see the look on Father Dinwell's face. He will no longer be able to deny my entrance to the order. Mitharu does embrace all. Thank you. I won't need any gold as a servant of Mitharu. Take what I have. It's yours. I will remember you in my prayers. Make it quick. I've got work to do. Can't pay my debts with firewood. Not in Gorhart. 
I knew it was only a matter of time, and I'm not surprised. Delph will do anything to save his own hide, but hiring a sword to do his bloody work is disgraceful. If you want to collect my dagger, you'll have to fight me for it. Steel for steel. I used to be quite the scrapper. Didn't Delph tell you that? This is no longer a game. I'm fighting for my very survival. Very well. But well, I'm not interested in discussing Red Edward or this foolish blood right. This is folly, you know that. In the country of Nirilim's embrace, the summer manifests as an immortal fay. You know her, him, it, as the resplendent warrior or the ardent conqueror. You mortals named him King Issa. In the youth of your people's memory, you bore witness to Issa's exploits. He is your legend. Ugh, finally. Someone that looks like they could stand up to a moderate breeze. There's need for an adventurer such as yourself. Me and a crew are mounting an expedition to a new land, south of here. Ah, clever and strong, I see. It's as I said, we're going to the teeth of Naros, the land south of Dalentarth. If you want more information, seek Helic Cross. He's leading us. We're camped beyond Edmere. Fine. Two legs are cruel. They will not help. No! I am cursed! You believe me? Many think I am just another two legs. They are wrong. I am a wolf cursed to wear this shape by evil sprites as some cruel game. I still have wolf thoughts in my head. But two-leg bodies are so clumsy, they can't even catch dumb meat birds. I must be changed back. The sprites are near. Even now I smell them. But I cannot fight in this form. Will you help, two legs? Thank you, two legs. But the task will not be easy. I need water from a magic well, 
guarded by the sprites that cursed me. Be warned, the sprites have much magic, for the well they guard is older than this wood, and from that they draw their power. The sprites guard the well, which is near the river to the north. Beware them, they have much magic. Return swiftly. I thought only the Warsworn used the Yolven Road. Penry Kell's my name. Traveler by vocation. I have no trade, but I do have a job for one like yourself. Interested? Most travelers have qualms about dealing with the fair folk. Harder to read than a human, and fewer many pockets to pick. These ballads, Fay, they are not only rich in lore. I've heard snippets of a ballad, and a beautiful ruby ring. And I need someone to help me get it. The ballad is called Ring and Reprisal. I know little about it, but if we reenact the ballad step by step, the ring should come to us. In the story, a maiden asks a champion to reclaim a ring stolen by a troll. It's a few years too late, but I'll play the role of the maiden. <laughs> you be the champion. First, you must prove your prowess by hunting wild antelope and bring back something to lure the troll. Who knows? You'd have better luck getting an answer from one of these damn fae. But it's what the ballad calls for. You can find an antelope nearby. Bring them down and get proof of your kills. We'll need them later on. May your kills be clean. Thank <laughs> you. 
troll that stole the ring in the ballad is named Lekka the Corpulent. I guess he had a bit of a appetite. You need to mount the trophies just like the champion in the ballad. When all are displayed, Lekka should come. Once he's there, it should be easy business claiming the ring. I mean, you've killed a troll before, right? You need to display them in the ruins. That's what's going to draw out Lekka the Corpulent and get us the ring. Farewell. Thanks for dealing with Lekka. I... I wasn't really afraid, mind you, just playing the parts all. Well, now that this business is over, just give me the ring and I'll give you your payment. And here's your reward. You know, you have the makings of a decent traveler, and I mean that as a compliment. You might try your hand at thievery, if you like it and you're good enough. You can sell your goods to our fences. Pleasant travels. <laughs> <laughs> 